Hello everyone and happy Sunday. Thank you for clicking on this video. Before I begin, I would like to acknowledge my latest channel member, Our Waters. Thank you for signing up and supporting my cause of exposing the narcissist. It is greatly appreciated. Okay, today I am going to attempt to summarize why relationships with narcissists are so difficult. I am sure a lot of you already have a list of reasons rolling off in your heads, but I only have five major things and I'm thinking that most of the issues you think of will fit under one of them. But if they don't, please leave me a comment below. Let's get it all out there why relationships with these types of people are so not worth it. Because at the end of the day, narcissists are not able to be the genuine loving partners, friends, and family that we desire. Narcissistic relationships are emotionally draining, and there are many reasons why they are not healthy and do not work in the long run. And if you have been in a narcissistic relationship or still in one, you will be able to identify with a lot of the things I mentioned today because narcissists are all so much alike and their goal to hurt and destroy is the same. For any relationship to work, it takes effort. But with narcissistic relationships, no matter how much time, love, and energy you put into them, they seem to get worse instead of better. And the first reason is because narcissists are users. They only know how to take. They are very good at getting what they want when they want it. In the narcissist's mind, it is all about how they can progress, how they can win, and how you can help them get there. The people in their lives are only seen as a means to an end. Whatever investment that a narcissist puts into you is for their long-term gain. The narcissist does nothing for free and they will use you and take from you until you have nothing more to give. Being in a relationship with someone who is so self-centered and self-serving means your wants, dreams, and needs will be of no significance to them. Being in a narcissistic relationship is where many dreams die. Another reason narcissistic relationships are so difficult is because everything about the narcissist is fake, so they never really let anyone in. They have an emotional block that makes it impossible for them to experience true intimacy with anyone. The blockage is a result of the shame that they suppress. For more about this, I did a video called The Narcissist's Greatest Shame. You can check it out later to understand more. But basically, it affects everything else in their lives. It's one of the biggest secrets they try to hide with their fake image. So although they are very good at pretending to create bonds, they don't. And that is why they have no issues lying to you, devaluing you, cheating on you, hurting you, discarding you. It is because they have no emotional connection with you. Some people want to know if the narcissist ever loved or felt anything for them. And the truth is, the narcissist did think they were in love, but their love is just infatuation. It is a feeling that can be just as intense as love, but it is temporal and self-serving. What the narcissist has is an intense desire to satisfy their lust. That is why there is an urgency with the narcissist in the love bombing phase to progress the relationship as quickly as possible. This explains why once the narcissist gets what they want, all the excitement starts fizzling away and they get bored. No emotional connection was ever created. There was no true love or commitment. There were no genuine intentions. The narcissist was just doing and saying whatever was necessary to get what they wanted from you. So while you were falling in love, they were following their lust. And when their lust got satisfied, 
you are left hooked on someone who is not and never was in love with you. This complements the next reason these narcissistic relationships are so difficult. And it's the simple fact that the narcissist cannot empathize with you. Once the infatuation bubble has burst, all the narcissist sees are flaws. They become very judgmental and critical of you. You come to realize how unforgiving and unsympathetic they are towards you. Their lack of compassion and concern when you are ill or down is evident and they are just not attentive to your emotional needs. So slowly you begin to realize that you are on your own in this relationship. You end up feeling alone, undervalued and constantly misunderstood. The fourth thing that makes a narcissistic relationship difficult is the way narcissists communicate. I am referring to the gaslighting, projecting, word salads and their silent treatments. All these things frustrate and confuses us. When you disagree with a narcissist, conversations with them can be very jarring and manipulative. Their aim is to win every argument and get their way. They refuse to take accountability and are happy to make you feel guilty and take full blame for problems that they started. There is no point arguing with a narcissist as they are very good at twisting and turning things on to you. You end up talking about things that are not relevant to the initial issue. They would deliberately not try to understand your point of view and discredit your feelings. There are lots of twists, turns and roundabouts and you just leave feeling empty and confused. Conversing with a narcissist can be frustrating and even boring as they only are interested in talking about their interests. For communication to be effective, it needs to flow freely both ways and everyone should be fairly listened to. Empathy is also important, which, as we've already covered, is missing when it comes to narcissists. The final reason why relationships with narcissists are so difficult is because they are miserable people. They have no good intentions, they are not happy, as a result, they are very moody, spiteful and unforgiving. And because misery loves company, they hate seeing other people happy. So a lot of their time is invested in scheming to hurt and control people. Getting control of someone and wiping that smile off their face is what brightens their day. They enjoy destroying people and relationships. All is well in their world when they are causing pain and confusion to others. So if you are the unfortunate person who is in a relationship with a narcissist, you will be their prime target. You will be their emotional punching bag. You will get the brunt of everything they have to offer while they go out and smile with the world. Their fake image, fake persona, all their accomplishments and relationships cannot erase the misery and shame they have inside. Therefore, they can only bring hurt to the very same people who love them the most. But to conclude, these are the five reasons. One, narcissists are users, which means they are selfish and only value people for what they can get from them. Two, narcissists are fake in every sense of the word, so you cannot have a genuine, honest, caring relationship with them as they cannot connect with you emotionally or create long-lasting bonds. Three, narcissists lack empathy, which is a crucial element in making any relationship work and making others feel valued and cared for. Then there is communication. Communicating with a narcissist is a chore rather than a pleasure as they are so manipulative and conniving. 
Finally, they are dark, miserable people who have no true love or light to give to anyone, only pain and misery. Relationships with them will take its toll on you. While you weaken, the narcissist will be strengthened. Narcissistic relationships are toxic and should be avoided at all costs to preserve your peace health and sanity. Okay, that is it for today. As usual, if you found this helpful, please don't forget to click that thumbs up icon and please share this video on other social media platforms. That would be a great help. Many thanks for listening.